that road Where did all the flowers go? They say we're supposed to grow Learning from the highs and lows All eyes lying on me Oh, begging me to play the role Cause I'm gonna get it right I'm gonna get it right They can try to hold me down But Hey guys, I got this new case for the GoPro and it has a hot shoe mount. So I can use my new mic on top of here and I can carry it around like a normal vlogger can. Okay, so today we're going to go check the vibration on the Pipistrelle Virus and the MT propeller. Um, because I've had a prop fail on me before, I want to make sure that they're kept in balance all the time um, so I have 330 hours on the airplane now and I just want to make sure that it's it's vibration free um, I actually have my own vibration equipment in the summertime I do some vibration work I'm actually working on combines um, so I can show you that equipment here it's proof technique the vibe expert so here's the actual computer that does the calculations and then I have all my sensor equipment you got your sensors and then your tachometer. Let's go out to the airport and try this out. See if we can balance my prop. It's a balmy 7 degrees outside today. It's December 11th and it shouldn't be this warm but it is. So we're going to go ahead and balance this propeller, or check the balance, and maybe we don't have to do anything, but I'll show you how that's done with the balancing system. First we're going to take off the top cowling and hook up our sensors and then we'll push the plane out and uh, then we'll give it a run. see here on the inside there's a there's a tape a reflective tape that tells me that this prop has been balanced before because that's what you use for your tack you have to mount a tack and you also have to mount a vibration sensor um, there's also a balance weight here on the back side of your nose cone that also tells me that this prop was balanced from the factory um, but I'm just curious to see how well balanced it is. If it isn't balanced, then great. Um, I just want to make sure I have the equipment to balance it, so I just want to make sure that it's always in balance. We're going to go connect all the equipment up and I'll get back to you shortly. So the biggest challenge you guys are probably going to have balancing a Rotex is where to mount your sensor and your tachometer. So I got my laser tac mounted to this crossbar here um, with a little hose clamp and basically just a screw going into that and my vi my vibration sensor is mounted right here uh, we've made a custom adapter it's basically just a bolt that goes into a free hole on the side of your gearbox 
So there's a, there's a free hole here that you can screw in um, a bolt to. I believe it's a 19 millimeter. And then we made a, another hole inside of it that our vibration sensor just spins right into. Uh, so that's gonna take some time for you guys that have never done this before to make that adapter. And yeah, once you have this set up, we have our reflective tape in here already set from the factory. surprisingly my prop is out of balance so you can see here um, it's at nine sorry eight millimeters a second that's the vibration and the speed was 2300 rpm so that was at 5500 rpm on the engine because um, you have a gearbox your prop doesn't spin at 5500 rpm so we are gonna I guess balance that out we're gonna add a trail weight, and then we're going to add a correction weight. All right, so we're halfway done, the vibration. Um, we just ran the trail weight, so now it's at seven. Um, seven millimeters a second here. And now it tells us that we want to put five grams at 426 millimeters. now. We did it! Woo! So we got some good results. Alright. And uh, it only took one weight. to grow, learning from the highs and lows, all eyes lying on me, oh, begging me to play the role, cause I'm gonna get it right, I'm gonna get it right.
crack it, Walter? Don't get the camera. <laughs> no. Look. What's this? What's this? What is it? Ah, kids earmuffs. Nice. Ah. Are you a pilot? Ah. 